Greetings Cyberdogs and citizens of the internet. This is Rendog coming at you from inside Mama Dog's greenhouse in yet another episode of Mole Hole Maintenance. In this episode guys we are going to be working on this greenhouse as well as doing a few chores around Mole City and the Mole Hole. So sit back and relax my cyber diggity dogs. Let's do some DIY maintenance around this freaking jazz. Now guys uh, some of you guys may have not watched a Mole Hole Maintenance episode before and so some of you guys might not know what it's all about so let me quickly explain what molehole maintenance is basically molehole maintenance is where we do everything that I would have done off camera in my uh, for my minecraft survival series and uh, what I used to do is when I used to do a project like this like the greenhouse um, I would do most of it um, as a part of the series but then I would actually finish the project off camera but a ton of you guys uh, were emailing me and asking me in the comment section why can't we see the footage that uh, that all the work that you do off camera so you so I thought to myself you know what let's make a sort of separate uh, support series for the let's play Minecraft survival series and that is molehole maintenance and in molehole maintenance we basically just do everything that um, I otherwise do off camera so you know it's just it's for you hardcore Rendog fans out there man so you guys don't miss a single second of the crafting that goes on in this series man but you guys as you can see I've done a little bit more work to the greenhouse since the last survival episode um, basically I've added a nice skirt of stone walls to the top of the roof and you can see guys it is looking so freaking pimp mcdaddy man and man i've been getting such awesome suggestions from you guys uh, about improvements to the greenhouse and one of the suggestions that i really really dig is uh, making the passageway through the greenhouse actually water so making it sort of a river and then putting lily pads on top of the water so that we can actually walk through the greenhouse. And I thought to myself, that is such an epic idea because basically what this greenhouse is going to be is a self-contained bio ecosystem. And that self-contained bio ecosystem does need a source of H2 freaking O. So by having the water down here, we kind of meet the physics requirements of what this greenhouse does uh, if it were to exist in real life. So, you know, uh, whenever science comes into Minecraft and whenever science agrees with Minecraft, Craft. I, it makes me a happy doggy man I'm like hells yeah I'm gonna take that I'm gonna take that um, <laughs> so in this episode guys we're gonna be working on that water canal in the greenhouse but also a ton of you guys have mentioned that actually um, I have planted my dark wood oak trees incorrectly and they will actually not grow like this so thanks to everybody who pointed that out um, these dark wood trees actually function in a little bit of a different way you you need to put them um, in a configuration of of this the same as a, gi a giant jungle tree right they need to they need to be like that they need to be four next to each other like that so we're, we're gonna have to um you know we're gonna have to in um, increase our supply of dark wood trees one freaking giant dark wood tree at a time man but um that's that will hopefully now grow into a nice juicy ass tree that we can cut down collect some more saplings repeat that process and basically just get a butt freaking ton of those awesome ass trees man all right guys uh, the sun is about to go down i think oh no no it's still mid midday sweet we still got time on our hands. So let's head down into the stables. Uh, for today's episode, guys, for today's molehole maintenance, I want to try and work on that water canal that I was mentioning for the greenhouse. But for that, we are going to need some lily pads. And um, I've checked in the storage room and we actually don't have any freaking lily pads at all. So um, I think I, I think there is a swamp land pretty close to, uh, to spawn, actually. Um, if we head in this direction past the farmlands, I think there is some swampage behind the farmlands. So I want to go and check that out, see if we can find some lily pads, because that's what we need, man. We need freaking lily pads right now. Oh, and another awesome suggestion that one of you guys made was to use vineage inside um, the greenhouse itself and to hang the vineage in front of the of the glass. And I think that might be an, a really epic look. So we're gonna, we're probably gonna be taking a look at what that might look like in today's episode, man. Man, we have got so much freaking stuff to do in today's molehole maintenance episode. This is sweet. You know, it, to me, Minecraft is such an epic game. As long, I mean, it's all up to you, right? You know, people always ask me, especially like when I meet cyber dogs or cyber pups um, at Comic Con and stuff like that, and, and parents ask me, what is this Minecraft? Why, why do you guys like Minecraft so much? What is it about Minecraft that you love so much? And, uh, you know, it, it, whenever I get asked that question, I, I, I always sort of think twice because it's, it's not that easy to answer if you think about it. You know, like some people, you might, you might be tempted. Oh, no. 
dude, get out of there. Um, some people might be tempted to say like, oh, well, because it's fun, right? That's why we play Minecraft. But you know what? I think Minec Minecraft is actually way more than just fun. Um, I think Minecraft is ha has got so much more to it uh, that makes it such a brilliant game. And, and it's probably why we all love it so much. Check it out, guys. I have found a nice little cache of lily pads over here. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to collect these lily pads. Now, why, why, what is fun about Minecraft to me? Well, number one, and I've, I've mentioned this quite a few times before, one of the most important things about Minecraft for me personally is that Minecraft actually allows me to escape uh, real life for a while and to come into this fantasy world that we've created called Rentopia and to live almost, I guess it's not a second life, but it's kind of like a fantasy life where all of, all of the problems of real life just don't exist. Like the only problems you have in Minecraft are zombies, scale of butts, end of butts, <laughs> and, uh, and possibly running out of diamonds and stuff. <laughs> Ooh, is this some clay? Uh, I'm gonna have that clay, thank you. Um, you know, the, the problems of Minecraft, even though when you're in the Minecraft world, they are serious. And uh, guys, we have, we have had some serious, serious issues in our Minecraft adventures, man. You know, almost losing freaking items, dying, getting lost, losing NPCs, losing horses, losing cats. Those are, in Minecraft, those are serious issues. But comparing those issues to like life issues, for example, is, is obviously ridiculous. And what Minecraft is so... Why Minecraft is so awesome is that it gives us all an escape from the, the problems or the, the stresses of our everyday lives. And you know, that's one of the things that I've always hoped that my series can do for people. Is to, to help you guys escape your lives for half an hour every day and to come and join me in my fantasy world. And you know, for, for half an hour or however long the video is, we can all escape together and we can all just enjoy this amazing freaking game that's been made, man. And you know, that, that, is, that is one of the, the reasons that I love this game so much. Because it actually helps me uh, personally, as a person. I think that Minecraft actually um, is a form of, of therapy, I guess, for me, you know, like it, it gets me through a lot of hard times. I mean, aside, aside from it being, you know, what I do and what I absolutely love doing, it is for me, like one of the most important things in my life. Like this game is one of the most important things in my life. And I know that sounds like ridiculously nerdy. And uh, I'm sure there's loads of uh, jocks out there who watch these videos who are face palming right now and saying, Randog, you are such a freaking nerd, man. But Minecraft for me has become way more than, than just a game. Like, uh, my, Minecraft is, for me, is way beyond uh, a computer game, man. I mean, Minecraft is essentially, has essentially defined who I am now, has essentially created a life for myself. Uh, you know, so, so for me, man, Minecraft, like, supersedes any of that stuff. Like, oh, you're just a gamer, you're just a nerd, you just sit in front of your computer all day. No, no, no. Minecraft and me are, are very close, man. We have a very, very close relationship. And you know, all of my artisticness comes out in this game, you know. And uh, that's that's the second reason why I love Minecraft. I'm just waiting for the sun to go down so we can we can sleep this night away and uh, and start working on that sweet ass water canal in the greenhouse. But the second reason that I love Minecraft is that Minecraft is my artistic outlet, right? Now, when I was growing up, I was actually quite an artistic dude. I used to do a ton. I, I did art at school. I used to paint a lot. I used to draw a lot. They, I do not have a single, and I'm sure there's tons of you guys who are exactly the same as me. I do, do, I did not have a single textbook at school that wasn't filled with drawings and doodles and paintings and des, and like designs of the next painting that I was going to make and stuff like that, man. My, my 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 notebooks, my school notebooks are an absolute disaster. I mean, they are such a freaking mess. It's it's insane. Um, every single page is just covered in doodles and covered in in paintings and stuff and i used to i used to do like proper painting also on canvas and uh, i used to do you know a a3 sized um, pencil drawings and all that sort of stuff man i used to i used to work a lot on my on my painting and on my art and you know when you're when you're younger you you have time for all of that jazz man you, you you've got more than enough time in the world to do all of that sort of stuff when did i make freaking buttons man oh god shift click man i'm telling you guys Shift click is a pain in the butthole. It's awesome, but it also makes you waste items all the time. Um, <laughs> I'm just picking up some some water from the infinite water source over here, guys, so that we can make sure that that canal we're about to build has uh, infinite water in it, or has enough water in it, and that the water is all still, still also, which is important. 
But anyway, you know, when you leave school and, and when, you, when you get to university and you start studying really hard, it's difficult to, to carry on being creative. I was also a, a musician. I played piano, I played cello, I played guitar. I played um, loads of instruments actually while I was growing up. And that, that was like another form of, um, creative, uh, of creative outlet for me personally. But then, you know, when sort of real life kicked in and I had to get a job and all of that sort of jazz, oh man, here's, here's our secret passages, by the way. I've been exploring this area down here because um, zombies are spawning down here and I can hear them moaning every now and then. So I've got to come down here and cleanse them. Um, we're going to have to sort out the, <laughs> the underneath of the greenhouse at some point because it is getting infected at the moment. Um, but anyway, so <laughs> as I got older, guys, and, and real life sort of kicked in, and uh, I didn't really have a lot of time left for, for music, for art, and stuff like that. And, you know, for, for the most part, for the last, before I started playing Minecraft on YouTube, um, I, I didn't really do any art at all. I mean, every now and then I would dabble with like a drawing or a painting, or I would write a song on my guitar, or I'd, I'd write a song on my computer, um, like the fast forward music in, in all of my survival uh, videos. All of, the, all of the fast forward music is music that I wrote when I was younger. And, um, you know, Minecraft suddenly gave me this, this fresh new artistic outlet that I could, that I could uh, use to create art and i think we've spoken about this before but i do consider uh your your the things that we build in minecraft i do consider as art i know that sounds completely crazy but i i i, I do see it as a form of art it is a it is a new form of art it is digital art um but it is still art nonetheless and it's art because we are using our imaginations to create something out of nothing and we are creating something that is aesthetically pleasing and that emotionally affects other people. And to me, that is basically the definition of art, right? If you can emotionally uh, move someone from something you've created, and it doesn't matter what that uh, emotion is, whether it's happiness, sadness, anger, even, even if your videos um, invoke trolls to troll you and tell you how much they hate you, the, the, the funny thing is that you getting a, a, an emotional reaction out of those trolls, even though they claim that it's trolling, they are still reacting to you. And that means that what you are doing, the art that you are creating, is having an effect. And for all of you guys who make Minecraft videos and for all of you guys who are making uh, series on YouTube, remember guys, what you are doing is a form of art, man. And you should be proud of that. And it doesn't actually matter how many people watch it or how many people see it. Um, that's all irrelevant, man. Like, you are making art that is going to survive on YouTube for as long as YouTube is in existence. And that's freaking sweet, man. That is so cool. And uh, that's one of the things I, I love about Minecraft. I'm just um, looking for some more cobblestone over here, guys. And I'm picking up sort of any materials that we might need for this current project also when I see it. So Minecraft for me is, is a, a form of artistic... It, it is my primary artistic outlet now. And, uh, you know, when I make something like this greenhouse over here, I get the same sense of satisfaction as when I when I used to paint a canvas or or, or make a drawing or whatever. So um, I get I get exactly the same sort of emotional um, reaction when I play uh, Minecraft, whether it's Feed the Beast, whether it's Survival, um, whether it's Hexit. It's it's the same thing, man. And I freaking love that, you know. And that's, you know, that's one of the other primary reasons why I freaking love uh, Minecraft so much. But guys, <laughs> I've been wobbling on a bit. I'm going to carry on talking about this in a moment. I just want to uh, finish off what we're doing down here. And what I'm doing, what I want to do is line the canal with some, some cobblestone, like you can see, and with some mossy cobblestone, um, just, to, just to make sure that it looks 100% epic. I don't want to just shove some water in here and, uh, you know be done with it let's make sure that everything we do is 100 percent perfect and meets our freaking standards up in this jazz man so uh, let's get all of this sweet mossy cobblestone in this canal and you can see that this method of using just normal cobblestone and um mossy cobblestone saves you so much mossy cobblestone it's awesome um and i think it's actually way better also i think it looks way better if all of this was mossy cobblestone i think i don't think it would actually look that sweet so uh, that's epic, man. I'm, I'm super stoked with this. And now what we can do is actually start filling it with, with uh, water. Let's just get some steaks now in our freaking belly. Mm. Bam. All right. So let's get a little bit of water. I think it's every one, two, three. No. So it's every one, two. I think it's every sec. If we want to make the water completely still, right? 
Oh. Oh, I think we're going to have to do every single one. Oh, that's a bummer. Right, we're going to have to make an infinite water source. We'll just do it over here. Oh, God. We've just opened up the bowels. The zombie infestation tunnel. Man, the zombies have been tunneling underneath Mole City. That's where, that's where all those freaking um, tunnels are coming from. <laughs> they are... They, they, they actually developed some brains. And... Uh, they are actually tunneling underneath more city. That's not good news. That is not good news for the citizens of this fair town. Right, let's stillify all of this water now. Um, I'm gonna have to do every single block, I think. Yeah. There we go. So we eat. Oh, this is gonna be so epic, guys. So yeah, man, <laughs> I freaking love Minecraft. This is like a, this is like a I heart Minecraft episode. <laughs> um, but there, there is, I, I want to talk about one more reason why I absolutely love this game. And uh, it's one of the reasons I think that, that, you know, I enjoy this survival series so much. And I think probably one of the reasons why uh, a lot of you guys also enjoy this series so much. And that is because Minecraft is one of the very few games on this planet that doesn't hold your hand. Um, that doesn't give you a linear plot to follow in order to to achieve goals you know like most modern games these days are basically like a hollywood movie right i mean they are awesome don't get me wrong you know like uh, those of you guys who are with me for the metro series or for the um for the dishonored series like those games are really sweet but in a way they kind of hold your hand and they sort of take you through the plot line one you know one step at a time and it's it's pretty difficult to, to get lost or to not be able to finish the game you know even while the games try not to be linear they they, they tend to they end up being quite linear right like take take metro for example even though the game world feels absolutely massive at m most of the time you only sort of have uh, one or two uh, places that you can actually legally go right like often oftentimes you're actually blocked from going into certain areas um, because that's because the the game devs are you know making sure that you are uh, guided through the game and that you are going to get to the end of the game and not get lost. And that's totally cool. But of course, Minecraft doesn't have any of that jazz, man. You know, if, if your goal in Minecraft is to get to the end and to kill the Ender Dragon, when you first start playing this game, you have no freaking idea how to do that. There's no clues. There's no plot lines. There's no cutscenes. There is freaking nothing that tells you uh, how you can actually get to the end and kill the Ender Dragon. You have to actually research that yourself. You actually have to... Oh, how epic is this, dudes? How awesome is this? Oh, man, I didn't get enough lily pads, though, unfortunately. It's a bummer. Right, we can just, just head back to the swamp lands, though. NP. But, um... <clears throat> like I'm saying, man, there, there, is, there is no help for you. And what Minecraft does, because it forces you to interact... Uh, or, or Because it forces you to find stuff out that you otherwise don't know... Just checking that girls was alive, guys. OCD. <laughs> Uh, it forces you to become a part of a Minecraft community. It forces you to find videos on YouTube, to subscribe to Minecrafters like me, um, and to become a part of a community like the Cyberdogs, or like the Bros. Uh, actually, well, not the Bros, because Pew doesn't actually pay Minecraft. But, you know, the same applies for... for... Actually, the, this... The same doesn't apply to PewDiePie at all, because <laughs> he doesn't play Minecraft. What are the, what are some of the other what are some of the other groups out there, man? You've got like uh, the Yogs, I guess, right? It inspires you to be a Yog. It, it, it inspires you to be a part of the Squid Army, for example, right? Like it inspires you to to be a part of the Minecraft Nation or whatever. But I don't know what they're what they're all called. But you 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 guys know what I'm saying, man. This game actually brings people together from all over the world and. That is epic, and the reason we all get together, right? And and this is the really awesome thing. The reason that we all get together like this, like that we all congregate as mine as a Minecraft community communities all over the world, all the different communities that we've got, right? You got the Cyber Dogs, the Squid Army, the Yogs, the freaking Sparkles, <laughs> uh, the Mine Crackers. All of these different communities all gather because. Minecraft has no freaking linear set plotline. That is that is a beautiful thing, guys. Th I mean, just think about it, right? The reason that we love watching people play Minecraft on, on YouTube, the reason that I'm like a huge Minecraft fan and uh, a huge... Man, I'm a fan of so many Minecrafters out there, man. 
Um, you know, the reason that we, we are fans of Minecraft players is because we want to see what they create. What comes out of their freaking brains and manifests itself in the Minecraft world. That is the beauty of Minecraft, man. And it, what's, what's awesome is that it shows that us humans, we thrive on each other's creativity, right? Like, we absolutely love watching each other be creative and feeding off each other's creativity. And to me, I don't think any other game that's ever been made has ever been able to have that sort of effect on humans, man. To be able to bring humans together like this game does from all over the world is just, it's just awesome. It, it's it's amazing and you know that's that's the third major reason why i love this game so much man <laughs> um but guys i would actually love to love to hear from you guys man w what what about minecraft do you guys love i'll be i'll be watching the the comments of this video quite closely i'd love to actually see what you guys love about this game and as aside from you know like being able to watch youtubers play minecraft and aside from all of that stuff like what do you guys personally um, love about Minecraft. I'd, I'd love to love to, to read the, all, all of that stuff, guys. So uh, you know, put your put your love for Minecraft in the comment section below, and uh, I'll have a read. And um, we can all just we can all I heart Minecraft today. How about that? <laughs> well, guys, over there, if you're wondering why that is looking so weird, uh, that's that's going to be a, a brand new 1.7 biome over there. Actually, I think that right there is the border of our old 1.3 rentopia world so that's pretty sweet uh looks looks but ugly though oh man that you know that's one of the downsides about the migration that we did for those of you, of you guys who don't know we we actually used mc editor to copy and paste our old minecraft world into uh, a brand new 1.7 world so that we could find new biomes uh new 1.7 biomes and stuff and man, if you don't actually know that, that means that you haven't been watching the previous episodes, man. And I'm freaking, man, I'm angry with your ass. But I'll, I'll forgive you today because I'm in a, I'm in a, a Minecraft loving forgiveness mood. Um, you know what, guys? Some of you guys have been talking about using stained clay uh, in the greenhouse. And you know what? We might, maybe we should be using stained clay underneath the, the water canal instead of the, the mossy cobblestone. It depends on what stained clay looks like, right? But that could be pretty sweet. So what I'm going to do is actually just collect a, a bunch of clay. And uh, it's it's now that I wish we had our Aqueous, uh, our Skullcap of the Dog, which has um, Aqueous 1 or something like that. It has a sweet-ass water um, enchant on it that lets you break blocks underwater quick, uh, quicker, which is really sweet. But let's, uh, I'm going to collect this clay, actually. And, you know, I, I was talking in the previous survival episode about making use of materials that we haven't made use of. And... What in the jazz is going on in there? Oh, get it. The tide is sucking me in. And clay is definitely uh, a, a resource that I have not made use of yet. And we actually need this clay to make some pots also. Um, I want to... What I want to try to do in the warehouse is make a second... Uh, not a, a second story, but a second shelf above the, the first shelf. Um, and what I've, what I've been told by you guys is that the, the, only the really tall flowers... Are, uh, we can reproduce with using bone meal because um, what we're trying to do here guys is make this greenhouse to maintain uh, our flower population all the flowers that we found on our 1.7 uh, biome hunt we want to put them in the greenhouse and use bone meal to duplicate them but you can only duplicate um, the, the 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 flowers that are more than one block high right so like the small flowers like tulips and stuff you can't dupl duplicate using bone meal but i think you can duplicate them using if you put them in a clay pot and then rinse them off with water or something like that i'm not 100 percent sure but i remember reading uh, one of your guys comments about that so i think there is a way to duplicate the smaller flowers we just need to figure out how to do that and uh, i know that it involves using clay pots so um you know, I think it's better that we collect this clay, actually. So then we can uh, we can start experimenting with that. But let's get back. Get, let's get a tray you back into the stables. And um, man, <laughs> we should definitely have enough lily pads now, right? Yeah, definitely. Let's head back into the storage room. See if we can find some vinage. I want to do a little bit of vinage experimentation now. Um, get in. Get in your stable, bottle. Oh, you freaking bottle, man. Um, we need to do something about the stables. Unfortunately, for some reason, uh, Mojang decided that a horse can't fit through a freaking fence. Uh, <laughs> it still blows my mind that that was actually approved. Um, Notch, what the, what the jazz are you doing, dude? Like, what's the point in allowing us to make a fence that you can open when you can't actually get a horse through it? I mean, come on. Come on, bro. 
just doesn't make sense to me, man. <laughs> uh, anyway, that's that's the two things that I would like to see in Minecraft, man. Number one, I'd like to, to be able to fit horses through fences. Number two, grappling hook, please. <laughs> Um, <laughs> all right. Anyway, guys, let's see if this, we've got some vines in here. I don't think we. I don't think I have any vines actually. No, nope, I think I've used them all. Hmm. All right. Well, we all we need to do is get a little bit of urn, and uh, what I want to do is where's my urn? And then I can turn the urn into shears and collect some. Just need three urns for this project, and then we can collect some vineage. We can actually trim the molehole's beard, man, because damn, this this beard is uh, out of hand. There we go. So we eat. Oh, what can we get rid of here? Pressure plates. Don't need that. <laughs> All right, let's head up to the furnace room to get this clay of uh, cooking, uh, so that we can have a look at what stained green clay is going to look like. Because I think that's going to be pretty sweet. So let's just get this clay cooking. So we eat. What's up, Paloma? I hear you, but I do not have time for your cute little bottle. Sorry. I got some freaking work to do, man. <laughs> I'll smell you later, though. Beatrice! Okay, there she is. It's the obligatory OCD check that NPCs have not been killed. Okay, Griswold's alive. Sweet. <laughs> Alright, guys. Back to the greenhouse. Now, let's finish off the actual passageway of the greenhouse. And, uh, oh, man. And I just forgot to get vines, didn't I? Yeah, I was so excited to come and finish off the lily pads. How sweet is that, dudes? How sweet is that? Oh, God, I love that, man. That is awesome. Good job. Good job, side dogs. That was an amazing recommendation. And uh, you know what? I'm actually going to pick up... Where, where's all the cactuses that I've been collecting? What? Oh, I've been replanting them. That's why. That's why I don't have any. Okay, well, these are ripe for, uh, ripe for harvest, actually. Sweet. Let's harvest some of this. Ow, ow, ow! Jeez, man. Cactuses hit hard. Right, let's do some cactus harvesting over here. Uh, doesn't make any sense, like, like I mentioned in the previous episode. Why in the jazz are these cactuses growing in snow? But, you know. <laughs> we, we ask no questions. Oh, also, by the way, uh, to address the, the physics question of why we planted the greenhouse in the snow biome. Well, um, it is a greenhouse, man. You know, it's 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 its own bio ecosystem. It doesn't need to be in, in hot weather. It it can maintain its own freaking ecosystem. Okay, guys, that is that's a, that's my story, and uh, I'm sticking with it. And if you don't like it, you can kiss my ass. <laughs> right, guys, let's head up into the furnace room and uh, cook down some of this cactus so that we can have a look at what uh, this clay is going to look like. Let's just get this cactus to smelt. And how many? Okay, we've got eleven bricks. That should be enough to make a few. All right, Cyberdogs, let's get this over and done with Global Face Palm in three, two, one, pam. <laughs> I am doing this completely freaking wrong, man. We are not supposed to be smelting down the clay. We are supposed to be turning the clay into blocks of clay, and then we can stain the freaking blocks of clay. So that is how you do it, guys. You need to turn clay into blocks of clay. You then need to uh, smelt the blocks of clay into hardened clay, and then we can actually dye the hardened clay. So I actually just wasted a butt ton of free can clay there um, <laughs> making clay bricks but we didn't need to make clay bricks what we need to make is hardened clay so um, yeah my bad guys I'm a freaking clay noob okay this is the first time I've worked with freaking clay ever um, <laughs> I feel like a butthole I feel like a freaking butthole and I am a butthole that's for sure but um just having a look at is it nighttime already jeez no it's just pollution is back uh, having a look at this hardened clay, I'm, I'm not, I don't know, I don't know if I, I don't know if I like this texture actually. It's, it's very, uh, flat. It's a really, really flat texture. So, hmm, I'm not really feeling this texture, man. Because I think it's probably just gonna be that, but green, right? So, yeah. I don't know, maybe this, uh, this whole green clay exercise is not gonna pay off. Um, but, you know, it's worth a try. Let's have a go. Let's have a look at what this green clay is going to look like. So, we surround a cactus green with the clay. And there we can see, wow, we get eight green stained clays from, from this. That's awesome. Um, let's have a look. I mean, it's cool. It is cool. 
But I, don't, I just don't see where that's going to fit into the greenhouse design, to be honest. I, I, I don't know. I just think it's, uh, it's way too flat. It almost looks like wool to me. It doesn't really look uh, like organic or like a cr uh, building material. It, it kind of looks like wool. So I'm, I'm not a big fan. Nah, I think I'll, I think I'll, I'll pass on, on green clay. However, I definitely won't be passing on uh, green stained glass panes. That's for shizzle. So what I want to do, guys, is head over here and get us some glass panes. And oh, I've got some anyway. And let's tr have a look at what a green glass pane is going to look like. Um, isn't it like that? No? What the jazz? Oh, do we have to do we have to make it out of uh, glass first? I think we probably have to make it make it out of glass. So if we take the green stained glass and then turn it into panes. Okay, there we go. Okay, sweet. So to get green stained glass panes, we've got to we've got to stain glass first, and then we we get this green stained glass pane. Uh, <laughs> it's so hard to say. All right, let's uh, let's experiment, man. Let, let's let's run some uh, some green stained glass panes along the bottom over here. Uh, what I'm thinking, right, is that if we, we oh no, what a waste. If we run it along the bottom like this, because I'm assuming that the algae in the greenhouse would probably start from the bottom, right? And then uh, one of you cyber dogs actually suggested doing like a gradient upwards. So it looks like the, the green is sort of um, growing. It looks like the algae is growing. Oh no. Oh no. Man, I gotta be careful with this jazz. Oh you. No man. Oh, what a waste. So kind of like this. So we make like a sort of gradient, like a broken up gradient, right? Let's just get one more in there, I think. Just ju just to uh, to get the, the, the full effect going. Let's do it in this location over here. And then let's get some normal panes just to finish off this side. And then we can have a look at what it looks like from a distance. I think that's actually going to be pretty sweet. Check it out, man. Yeah, that looks pretty rad. I don't like this, though. I don't like this sort of one floating over here. Oh, that's epic. So if we just do that all around the greenhouse... Oh, that is so sweet. That actually works beautifully. I love that, man. I absolutely love that. So thanks to the CyberDog who gave me that idea. That's a, a freaking another genius idea. Last thing I want to try for today's episode, guys, is making use of some vinage um, to see what that is going to look like. We, you know, we might just end... Griswold, dude... No, nope. bad, bad Griswold. You are not allowed here. This is a freaking no NPC travel zone. Right, let's collect for ourselves a few of these uh, these molehole shavings over here, man. And those will grow back also, which is sweet. Molehole, give me some of your beard. Ah, thank you. All right. Yeah, that should be enough. Sweet. Hey! Right, so let's go and, and put some uh, some vines inside the, inside the greenhouse. See what that looks like. Oh, man, this is so epic. Back up, son. Man, he is he is freaking eager to go and see Beatrice. I, they've, they've obviously been texting each other or something. <laughs> All right, let's get in here, guys. Uh, and can we, hang, can we hang the vines on... We can't hang the, the vines on panes, unfortunately. But we probably could stick them... What? Can't, I can't place them there for some reason? That's weird. Hmm. Maybe you can't place vines on uh, glass? Hmm. That's, that's really weird. Can we place them out here? Why can't I place these vines? Alright, we can place one there, which is pretty sweet. Can't place them on those um, stone walls. Why can't I place a vine on a, on a piece of glass? That's weird. Is that normal? What's up, Grizzy? <laughs> That's probably why he's been creeping at me all the time, man. I'm sleeping in his bed. I mean, what kind of message does that give? See, check it out, man. I can't put, uh, I can't put this vine on this glass, unfortunately. Man, that is annoying. Alright, well, I guess it's not the end of the world. I mean, we could... 
just put a, a bit of vineage around on some of these pillars. That's pretty sweet. And we... Oh, wow, that's awesome. We can put them on the inside, actually. So let's uh, get some of this vineage going over here. One more over here, I think. And then, because of the way that we've designed these pillars, we'll actually be able to put vines, like, over here, right? Sweet. Yeah, like that. Awesome. All right, awesome, man. Things are starting to look a lot greener, a lot moister in here. And that's exactly what I've been trying to, trying to um, achieve. Unfortunately, because I wanted the vines to sort of grow over the glass panes, but we can't actually do this unless we turn these blocks to solid blocks. Um, we can't grow vines on glass blocks. But this is looking absolutely epic, guys. Now is your chance to leave me some feedback. What do you think about the water lily canal? What do you think about the stained, the green stained glass panes on the outside? And uh, anything else you'd like to say about the greenhouse? Now is your chance, man. Hit me up in the comment section below. But uh, from a distance, I, I do, I do love that. That looks absolutely fantastic, man. I love that idea. Thank, oh, thanks to Cyberdog who gave me that idea, man, about using uh, stained glass windows to, to to make this sort of green gradient. Absolutely epic. All right, guys. Unfortunately, we have come to the end of this episode of Molehole Maintenance. Uh, feels like we didn't do much. But at the same time, feels like we did a lot. <laughs> and it just, this just kind of shows you how much time it actually takes to complete these Minecraft pro uh, projects. But guys, I uh, hope to see you in the next molehole maintenance episode. Who knows what we'll be doing then. Hopefully by then we'll be working on the Cyberdog Monument. But guys, thank you so much for watching this episode of Molehole Maintenance. If you enjoyed it, you hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, smack the subscribe button. And this has been Rendog playing Minecraft Survival Molehole Maintenance. See you in the next video, my friends. Goodbye.